Good evening and welcome back to Stardew Valley Amodia Baratus. Let's see what we got going on today. Uh, we, last time we got the iron, or steel pickaxe, sorry, not iron, steel, somehow. And that will give us the ability, ooh, what do we got going on here? So if we find quartz, what we're getting out of these things. Um, I thought there was something needed that, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we did build the chicken coop here. And the problem with this is that we can't actually really feed them very well yet because we don't have the silo, which will let us store hay, I believe is what it is. Um, we have some hay in here, and I think we can feed them with this, possibly, but uh, we need a silo in order to cut grass because we're going to need a lot of hay for this. We can't just grow it like normal. Uh, we need to get a lot. So, first of all, we're going to pick what we need to pick here. Man, hops once again. It's the 24th, which means we'll get to the 20... Let's see, 24th, 25th this episode. Um, ooh, when is Willie's birthday? Is it, did we miss it? Did we miss it Tuesday? Oh no, did we miss Willie's birthday? I don't have a calendar. There is a mod that actually adds a calendar that you just click up there, which totally makes sense to me. Why doesn't that exist? Why isn't that part of the game? Um, you know, you go to the calendar, visit it once, then you memorize all of it up there. You know, just have a, have a day planner. Or have, have, have a leaflets they hand out, that'd be even better. Okay, let's, let's sell up the peppers. Um, get some cash, not that we need it right now. The good news is we have enough money to buy a silo, but we don't have the resources required, I'm thinking. Because if I remember correctly, it requires clay, and we only have five clay. Let's go take a look and see how much it costs. Well, let's actually, let's, let's water our stuff here first before we forget to, because that, that's a thing I do tend to do. As you guys are always willing to point out, I do forget to water things quite frequently. So that's why we're gonna get these sprinklers going eventually and have sprinklers for everything and nothing to worry about there. Okay, so. Did I want this tree here? Or is this kind of just a thing? I don't remember if I planted that or not. Ooh, speaking of trees, we should probably go buy some saplings with a get the, with the chance. Because I want to get some apples going, some, some, some fall fruits, so that we, at the end of the month we can have a nice big harvest. Uh, that'd be really cool. So, yeah, we'll do that. Um, we have enough money for that. Boy, now we got this chicken coop built, though, and we can't do anything with it. Now, last time, as I said, we got the axe, the steel axe, and that gave us access to the new kind of like mystical enchanted forest over to the, the west. So I definitely want to take a look at that today, too. Um, we'll have to plan for an adventure because actually our good stuff, like the sword, which we'll need, is at the mine. So we'll need to go grab that before anything else, too. But luckily, we are all watered up here. Let's water our dog. Well, let's fill this up first here while we're here. There we go. And water the puppy. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. Yeah, love. All right, so let's go back up to... First of all, let's go talk to Robin about... Uh, oh, we have some geodes. Sometimes clay is in the geodes, so we could get those cracked open. Um, we have two copper. Combat boots, anything else? What is the refined quartz used for? I thought there was something I needed it. Let's see here quick. Oh, the bee house. That's one thing we're working towards. We actually have almost everything we need for that. Just the 40 wood, I think, is all we need still. Uh, we should totally make the bee house today. Um, refine quartz. No, I'm not seeing it. Was it one of these? Oh, here it is. 30 ring. Cuts duration of negative and status effects in half. We need a lot of refined quartz for that. And 10 earth crystals. So, we're saving up for that. I don't know if we're actually going to want that or not. Uh... This one I do want, though. The warrior energy after slaying an enemy, that sounds like a great thing to have. Uh, kind of like a strength boost. That'd be pretty cool. Um, the magnet ring is also very good, useful. So we'll use those. Okay, so let's grab our grab our geodes. Uh, let's stop by the cave. Oh, you know what? We should just take the back way. Let's take the back way. Who also do we need to look for gifts for us today? Um, Linus read a three. Leah's read a three. Very nice. And we've given two gifts to her already. Linus, we haven't given any to yet. Uh, Robin is actually feeling strongly towards us. That's good. And we're working on Marnie. Okay, Marnie, we found out last time, is holding a very discreet quest item that we need to get a hold of. Um, reach the bottom of the mines and the mayor shorts. Yes, we have to get to those before uh, Marnie realizes what she has on her hands there. If they have a falling out or something like that, man. Blackmail. Blackmail at the highest level of the community here. Um, so yeah. Yeah, they just assume that the mayor is, is operating, uh, in the pocket of Big Marnie at this point, because she's got the dirt on him. Uh, okay, so let's talk to Robin quick, and uh, let's talk to Linus. Linus, do you like berries? This is a great gift. Oh, he does. Great. Fantastic. Glad he likes it. We can just boost that relationship slowly but surely. 
Um, I think he has any kind of food he just loves. He said it's a great gift, so it must be a like. It must be a like. Uh, okay, so, uh, let's talk to you about a silo. What do you sell? Stone, windows, birch tables. Oh, cool. Budget TV, we have that already. Recipes for floor? Wood floor recipes? It's okay, yeah, well, yeah. Um, crystal path recipes. That sounds cool. Straw floors. Calendar. Oh, yeah. Buy this. 2,000 bucks for a calendar? Are you kidding me? It'd be great to have. I wouldn't need to look up anybody's birthday. That's a definitely thing down the road. We'll want that, but yeah, not today. Not today. Um, no, yeah, something else. Something else. Uh, construct farm buildings. We can make more than one coop? Oh, no, we can't. Uh, we don't have the means for it. Okay, so, well, no, we don't want that. We want the silo. Okay, so it takes 10 clay, which we don't have, 100 stone, which we don't have, and 5 copper bars, which we don't have. Uh, so, okay, that's a, it's, it's more of a long-term project. And then what else do we get here? We, we can't really do anything else. I think the silo is the thing we need to do. Because, um, really, we need to be able to feed the stuff we get, so we need to get the silo going here. Okie dokie, let's swing up to the mine here, grab our sword, we'll carry that with us, and grab a bit of food for ourselves, so we don't have, uh, we have energy when we get stuck inside of that, that forest, uh, area there. And then also, I'm thinking maybe there's, like, a spot to fish inside of there. Could be. Uh, what do we got a lot of? Let's take the cave carrot, maybe. Yeah, and the sword. And the junk, let's take that, too. Oh, can we break this soon? Oh, well, yeah, we should probably be able to break that once we have the iron. Oh, that might be another way we can do something cool, too. Oh, yeah. All right. We got the goods. And now... The, uh... The forest waits, I think. Well, first of all, we gotta drop these geodes off and see if we can get any more clay. Yeah, clay! Uh... Tilling sometimes produces it. Um, I've seen it from that. But I don't think you just till anywhere and get clay. Nope, look over there. Look over there. Worms. See, I'm trying to be on the lookout for worms more often now because uh, I do... T that's the thing I miss the most, I think. The, the worms. Book for the library. Fantastic. Okay. Lost book for the library. Awesome. Let's go take a look at that as we take a look to talking to Clint here. Um, and we'll be on the lookout for other worms. Uh, and some people have pointed those out to me as I miss them. It's good to remind me- there's another one. It's good to remind me that, uh, I missed them. Hey, that's clay. <gasps> Three! Oh, we're getting pretty close now. Alright, so I, copper's the only thing we'll hold us back pretty much now. We have eight, I think, clay saved up. Fun rabbit. Um, that's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I don't think the- when you guys point them out, the- they don't stay around. If- after I go to sleep, they're gone, so... Uh, I can't really go back and get them at all, so it's it's a lost thing, but I do like being reminded that I missed them So that makes me aggravated that I missed them um, Let's go take a look and see what this says as far as the books go. Here it is um, Okay How deep do the mines go? This question has been pondered by many Stardew Valley explorers over the years The truth is no one really knows or at least they aren't telling anyone Unfortunately many of those who venture deep into the mines never return However, there have been a few bold adventurers who have traveled deep into the mines and have resurfaced with interesting reports. Apparently, there are three distinct areas in the mine, each with unique monsters and treasures. Some adventurers speak of gigantic underground lakes and, creature, and strange creatures, but none of these claims have been proven. Okay, so that's not very helpful. The title of your book, How Deep Do the Mines Go, is not answered, so not a great title. That's that said, we can't get too mad at them. That is one of our goals, though. Um, and that is a long-term goal. So, like, both of these things, like, all three of these things are super long-term goals, because we don't have a keg to make pale ale just yet. Uh, Mayor Shorts is gonna require us to befriend Marnie, and this spot of the mine, we don't even know how deep that goes. So, it's gonna be the long-term plan here. Uh, short-term, what can we do? Uh, we do have the ability to turn in some cash to the, uh, the community center. We do have a little bit of money. Um... Okay, let's go. It's Wednesday, so the shop's not open. Uh, we've given her the gifts for the week already. We talked to her, and she just clicked out of it, I guess. Uh, let's go take a look down by the beach here quick. Oh, we're also going to talk to Clint. Shoot. Oh, uh, I'm kind of torn now. Running back and forth, wasting time. All right, let's go take a look and see if there's any uh, worms or anything like that we can harvest for possible clay. What? Artifact. Nice. All right, back to Gunther. Not done with him today. And then we still need to get a our first foray into the Enchanted Forest. I'm going to call it the Enchanted Forest. I don't know what it's actually called. There probably is a name that we'll discover at some point in the future. But not today. Well, maybe today. Maybe it'll tell us when we get up there. This is a giant sign that says, Forest Area. 
Probably something more creative than that. All right, let's go talk to Gunther. Let's talk to Clint. Let's get this thing done because we're gonna there. We closed up here in a minute, and then we can't actually buy our uh, saplings today. But we're totally gonna buy at least, hopefully, they're two thousand a piece. I don't, and that might be right. Then we can have three whole trees planted, and that'll be a nice long-term gains. I'm sure they produce more than just one fruit per season. Uh, they might they produce all their fruit at the end of the season, but I'm thinking it's more than just one fruit. Uh, okay, so let's drop these geodes in there. That's new. No, it's not. Uh, a fine grain rock made of ancient clay or mud. And a copper. It's a single copper. Okay, great. Thanks for your help, Clint. So, the mudstones we have there. Let's talk to uh, Gunther about this, this anchor. And we'll donate to the museum. There we go. Always helpful. I mean, we could probably just save up a bunch because we don't get the rewards every single time, so we can just throw them in there. I just don't want to accidentally sell them off or something like that. So now that we've wasted almost the entire day, we should sell it off for sure. Or save it for wine. Oh man, it'll be down the road for sure too. I mean, I don't know if you know how long it's going to take to get. Uh, I'm guessing it's pretty far down the road though. But it's a good ultimate goal for us to have. Not an ultimate goal necessarily, but um, a good goal for us to have. Oh, we were also going to swing past Marnie to see what animals cost. Uh, so we don't have to spend all our money necessarily. Well, maybe we can. Because uh, as we found out, the... Hey, Mayor Lewis! Return to the scene of the crime, eh? I'm just here to make sure all of Barney's business needs are met. I bet you are. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, I bet you are. Uh, you don't have to tell us, buddy. First of all, I mean, you have my relationship going on, but also, if you're, if you're in trouble, Lewis, we can get you out of this, buddy. If she's holding it against you, if she's blackmailing you, we can get you out of it. Just say the word, man. We can do it. We'll break in there and steal it. I'm just here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she's definitely in the pocket of Big Marnie. Uh, purchase animals. Chickens are 800 gold a piece. Lives in the coop. Uh, we don't have the means to feed them, I think is the deal right now. And the supplies for hay, 50. 50. If we have to feed the chickens every single day, that gets expensive. That gets expensive. Um, heaters keeps your animals warmer and happier during the winter. We're going to need that eventually. Those are the kind of upgrades we're going to need to get. Milk pails, yeah. So hey, we can't gather it just yet without planting it. it. Takes time to grow though, and we can't see if we could buy seeds at this point because. Uh, but once you have the silo built, you just passively cut grass apparently, and it, it creates hay. So that's that's huge actually. Uh, we should probably head back and sell some things off because it's already three thirty. Not a great time to start hunting the the uh, little forest area. I was gonna say mines, but little forest area. Um, but you know what? We'll. We'll still check it out just a little bit. Get our first, just get our feet wet with it. Uh, all this is water though, so we're good there. Uh, we want to sell off. Sell off this, sell off this, sell off. Not that, and this. Okay, we're good. Let's uh, organize again. We have, th we have two copper bars. We need five for the project. 100 stone, which we don't have. And, uh, oh, we can turn this into the recycler here. go refine some glasses down to the quartz apparently okay so clay goes in here we have eight now berries in there and keep the cave carrots okay good to go let's head down to the cave not cave what are we talking about the forest the forest forests are the new caves um they're not caves are still gonna be super important because we'll need to get those rocks and stuff and i think next time we go to the caves we should probably stick to the higher up levels because uh we want to get copper, and copper is not really found down below too often. So, we'll do that. Let's get our sword to the ready. Last time we went in here, the uh, the slimes just got us immediately. And we don't know quite know what to deal with this yet, so we gotta be careful. We gotta narrow our guard, gotta be ready for anything. Keep your head on a swivel. Here we go. New music. Awesome. This is area is not as tree covered as I thought it would be. But I believe we can harvest these things and get uh, get the stuff they drop whenever. They just automatically regrow. Can't harvest that. So this is like our source of hardwood, I guess, is the idea here. Once we get all rid of all the stumps on our, on our farm, we have no other way to get hardwood besides here, I think. So, ooh, we got pillars over there. Interesting. 
take those out. I mean, if it is, if it is, Fiddlehead Fern. Oh, something new. Nice. We're taking these guys out. These re regular slimes are dying quick now. And we do need slimes for our one of our projects. Hello, sir. Old Master Cannoli. Still searching for the sweetest taste. Oh. If we give him a cannoli, if we can make the cannoli somehow, maybe? Probably an advanced recipe. Um, if we make that, maybe we give it to him and he does something for us. <gasps> here we go, here we go, here we go. Something interesting. A little bit of a lake here. I wonder if the animals in here, or the fish in here, are any different than the other places. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's fish. Ooh, whoa, what happened to the sunlight here? Oh, interesting. Oh, I didn't miss that one. It's like daytime now, and it's 7 p.m. The world is kind of topsy turvy in here. This is really strange. Okay, we're not getting anything good from there, though. Hmm. Quite weird that now that it's dusk, it's bright in here. Okay, well, let's see what Phil Fiddlehead Fern sell for. Okay, this is not quite what I expected over there. That's okay. I don't want to fish it, I want to break it. Can we break these down? 8.10 p.m. Uh, we're dropping down wood because we can sell it off for three per wood and think we'll just we'll just need wood in general though um, But also to test the theory of these grow back quickly or not. I don't know if they need to be grown from saplings or not I don't think we need to replant or anything like that. They just might just grow back Oh, we knocked down the butterfly tree. Oh, no All right, all right, let's head home here And then tomorrow I guess we then we didn't we explored the entire uh, enchanted forest there in one day. So tomorrow our options are open. We'll water our stuff and probably head to the caves then. Unless we got something else drastic going on. We do want to stop by and buy ourselves some saplings though at the store. So we want to do our morning activities, uh, get that all taken care of, and then uh, our options are open after that. All right, drop this one off and we'll drop. Sap off, slimes off. Those can go in the house. The driftwood. I think this is trash. Will be refined as well. Oh, I wonder if we can refine the Joji coal because it's considered trash. Uh, and then hang on to that. Keep the wood. And that should be it. We're gonna sell it off. Young shoots are edible and uh, are an edible specialty. Hmm, okay. So I guess we'll rest it off. I mean, I don't really know what else we should do today. Nothing else going on. Oh, we should check a look at our forecast, though. Uh, take the hardwood. No, we're going to sell the fiddle fern off here. Fiddle ferns. Probably sells them for a lot because there weren't too many of them over there. As far as forage stuff goes, anyways. Uh, I guess we'll keep that over here for now. And that should be good. Okay, so we'll get the copper tomorrow. Hopefully get some geodes from the mine. Uh, that'll get us enough that we can get that silo. We'll also need a lot of rocks, so we'll have to go do rocks and rock farming. Um, all right, let's sleep for the night. And oh, we're gonna take a look at the forecast here quick and take a look if there's any recipes or anything like that. Rerun of Queen of Sauce, and the weather report says looks like a storm is approaching. Oh, so we don't have to worry about watering their crops. It's really gonna be a perfect day. Uh, let's leave this here. We don't have to worry about it tomorrow. Uh, anything else we want to take with us? The algae, frozen tears we need for the projects. Uh, okay, we'll take the algae with us. Oh, we're gonna have a big day over there. I can already tell. It's gonna be a good, good day over there. Um, oh, we didn't check it to see if it was Willie's birthday today. Uh, let's just assume we missed it. I think it was Tuesday. But uh, yeah, we'll go confirm that at the calendar here tomorrow. All right, sleep it off for the night and tackle the next one. So farming, our peppers did quite well for us. Uh, the Fiddlehead Fern sells for, let's see. Uh, oh God, math. Uh, nine. Six ninety six ninety six per each. That's actually pretty good find if we make our way over there each day um, I mean, it's not worth traveling all that way probably but Still not a bad haul for today All right 25th of summer And a storm is approaching All right, so a letter 
Farmer Modi, my knee's acting up again. You know what helps? Rubbing the darn thing with hot pepper. Trouble is, my supplies aren't dry. I've often got... Uh, I've often got one to spare. I'd be much obliged. Okay, so if we got one to spare, let's accept that quest. We can give him a pepper. I think we can. Uh, let's see. Yes, we can. Nice. So we got something for George. Get his, on his good side a little bit. Uh, don't worry about it. We can harvest today. Oh, there's a pepper right there, too, if we needed it. Lots of blueberries, lots of hops. So the hops are growing every single day, and every single day I forget to, uh... Well, that was weird. Uh, when I forget to water them is when they're not growing, it seems like. So they, they grow back every single day. We're gonna get a ton of hops. Oof. Nasty day out, though. Nasty, nasty day. I think the lightning can affect somehow. I don't know how exactly it affects this, but uh, it does affect the crops somehow. Golden blueberries, awesome. Tons of blueberries. Uh, let's... Should we save a golden one? We have these four... Oh, we know what we were doing with those? We were doing jam with those, weren't we? Uh, let's save, like, a couple back for that. Actually, let's save the good ones back. So let's sell those off. Maybe make some good jam out of those. Maybe? I don't know. Um, let's go take a look at our bat cave, too. We don't go there too often, but we can take a look here quick. Is this done? Nope, it's not. Wait, nothing happened with it. Well, let's try throwing a Joji Cole in there and see what happens. No, I don't want to throw it in. Okay, so the Jojo Pole is marked as trash, but it... Oof. It is, uh... There we go. Uh, it is not actually technically trash, I guess. Trash in Luke's definition of the terms. These guys usually have a spice barrier, too. Whoa! Oranges? Wild plums, oh my god. Okay, I'm pretty sure oranges are part of our quest lines. Where would that be? Quality crops? No. Summer... Animal... Artisan... Not animal. Uh, let's see if it's in the... Fall? No? Winter? No one wants oranges. Okay. Ooh, we could turn that in? We could turn this in? Oh, we don't want to do that necessarily, though. Then we only need two more things. Still, that's quite, uh... Exotic Forge. Yeah, there's nothing requires an orange. I feel like we got such a lucky find here with the oranges that we should hang on to them for something. Because you never know. Until we get, uh... We can turn in some of this. We can actually turn in the 2500 one, no problem. Alright, we'll do that. Uh, let's, let's hang on to these oranges, though. And the plum, too. Because, you know what? They're rare. And we'll hang on to rare things like that. Puppy, you can't go inside today. I'm sorry. It's wet out there. Uh, wild plum. Nice. Cool. The bats are awesome. Uh, we can turn in one of those of the quest line. Okay, I think that's fair. And then, um, anything else we want to turn in? No, I don't think we need to turn anything else in right now. The maple we were saving up for a beehive for. So we're hanging out in the maple syrup. But we'll get the next one we, we uh, the next one we find we'll, we'll turn in. Let's go take a look and see if that's grown yet. We should probably put this in a more central location because it's very tough to get to. No, it's not ready. Okay. Yeah, it's very tough to get to that maple, so we want to put that someplace else that's closer. That we can swing past every single day very easily. But it's only 7 a.m., so we got our work cut out for us then. We got, uh, let's stop by the, let's stop by the, uh, community center first here. And we'll turn in our money, we'll turn in this pine tar. Towards the quest line. What is this about? What, what? Oh, bring a, yeah, bring George Hot Pepper. Wait. Okay, yeah, I was just telling us we need to do that, not that we did that. I don't know why it's g g letting us know that we've accepted the quest. <laughs> that's like, that's like bureaucracy or something like that, right? Tell us we accept the quest and then it sends us an email telling us we accepted the quest. It's like a, it's like a email confirm thing for a MailChimp or something like that. <laughs> Alright, so let's stop by the vault. Give out some cash. And see what we get for rewards. Woo, chocolate cake! I don't know, oh, three of them. Okay, we can experiment with that a little bit. This guy's taking it over, taking our cash, hardened cash over to that thing. Uh, that might have been a mistake, we might only buy one fruit tree. But if we can only buy one fruit tree, we can only buy one. We're close to a second. And then we're turning in... The Artisan? No, 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 no. it was, um... Was it Forage? Yes. All right, two down, three to go. Not doing too badly. The mushrooms we've actually come across before in the mines too, so that will work too. 
Um, okay, the shop is open. We'll head down to the shop. Uh, George should be up and about, hopefully. Everyone should be in their house today because it's nasty out there. Ooh, we got a quest line too. How many days are we missing Willie's birthday by? One! Oh, we missed it by one day! Shoot, I should have checked it. He is gonna not like us. We forget his birthday, man. All right. So, the whole apple sapling situation. Oh, it's only four, it's 4,000 per apple sapling, yikes. We could have actually almost bought two. We were close before turning that 2,500. We were only 500 away. We probably would have hit the next day, but then again, maybe with our savings from the, uh, maybe with our savings from, or winnings from the mine here, we'll, we'll buy something else too. So, uh, apple sapling, we'll be ready for this. I think we should do it. I think we should buy it now. Let's just buy it now. Now we're ready to go. We're not buying animals right now anyways. The silo is not that expensive. We should be able to earn that back pretty easily. Let's take a look at the quest line. Trying to keep the art of fishing alive. Pays 160 for eight, which just is four sardines. Four sardines, really? That, actually, we're not catching sardines too often these days. I think that actually, do we turn in the sardine for this quest line? There was one. Yeah, we need a sardine for this. We do need to catch sardines. Uh, if there's ever a day to catch them, maybe today's the day. Uh, let's see. Uh, where do George and Evelyn live? In here? Yes, there's George. No, don't eat the hot pepper. Eat it right in front of George. You took long enough. Hrumph. Well, it looks good and spicy at least. Thanks. Uh, and his reward is 200 gold. Not bad. Earning 11. So, deciding to, what we're going to do today, uh, we're going back to the mine for sure. Do we want to fish for a bit, see if we can get these four sardines for Willy. After missing his birthday, I feel like we should do what I can. Oh, we get to keep the fish. Oh, nice. So he just wants us to fish. He just wants us to catch it. We have two days to catch four sardines. That is a lot of fishing in four days, but if we can do it, we'll make Willy happy. What does we get? Do we get respect from Willy? Is that on, on the line? We just get to keep the fish. Well, what we do with them is our own business. Uh, okay, let's take our sapling back, drop it off, and then uh, maybe we'll hit the, hit the ocean quick here for a few hours. And then get down to the mines. Man, I really wanted to get the mines completed, but the sardine quest is, is appetizing. And not because I like sardines or anything like that. It's just kind of intriguing, right? But yeah, it's a rainy day, so we might catch some different fish today, too. What did we get that? What is that? Is that coal? One coal, or three coal, nice. That was just from wood, okay, cool. Uh, all right, we're gonna sell that stuff off. This will keep in here, this will keep in here. Coal will keep. And eyeglasses will recycle. Anything else, sell these off. I think we're good, all right. All right, so let's go, let's go fishing because uh, we can maybe catch something random because it's raining out. So maybe some different kinds of fish are gonna be available. Um, and then sardines we do need for the community center anyways. We need to catch one of those for that. We'll get to keep the fish from the quest line. And then if we can get it done, I mean, that's asking for a lot. If we can get it done before the end of the day, then we can go to the mines quick and get some copper and get some maybe some clay. Man, so much to do. Probably not a good idea to go fishing in a storm like this, though, but maybe, just maybe, we'll get struck by lightning. No, luckily our rod is fiberglass, so it's not going to attract any, any lightning, I think. It's by just being a long pole. Oh, a crab pot! Yes! Forgot about that. We got a crab! Awesome. Now, do we, do we turn a crab in for the fish quest here already? We did. Okay, good. So we can sell this crab off. This actually sells for quite a bit. Um, let's grab our bait off, our hook, quick. And we'll rebait this. And put it back on. How many do we have left? 32. Alright. It's 2 o'clock. 12 o'clock, rather. We'll fish until 2 o'clock. And well, if, if we don't catch any sardines before 2 o'clock, well, well, we'll see. But fish also sell for a lot more now, too, because we got that upgrade. Oh, that freaked the heck out of me. Holy cow. Wow, do not fish in a lightning storm, folks. This is a bad idea. But we might catch some interesting fish, so we gotta do it, right? Fish are moving slow today, though, too. Red snapper, tiny red snapper. Actually, no, it's a good red snapper. Who'd have thunk it? Here we go. Whoa! Alright, now we got something interesting. 
Nice. Tuna, okay. And a present? With a geode. Okay, maybe that's our clay that we need. You never know. That would be awesome if we could find that. Then we just need the copper. So far, so good. That's a perfect. Tilapia. All right, let's take a look and see if there's any better fishing spots around here. Um, sometimes we'll see little, like, things like, uh, little water things here. Oh, what are you doing out here, Sebastian? Hey, buddy. The ocean is the best enjoyed alone, don't you think? Is that a hint that you want me to leave? I agree. I, think the, I, I agree. The ocean is best enjoyed alone. Can't agree with you more, buddy. I mean, I just, like, love the ocean. It is so good. It's so, so solitary, you know what I mean? It's so nice to sit and stare at the ocean alone. I love to just do that. Man, there's nothing better. There's nothing better than just sitting, watching, watching the ocean alone, hearing the waves roll in. Nothing, nothing else. No other sounds around you. Just listening to the waves crashing. It's so peaceful and relaxing, man. And really, really definitely. I mean, I can't agree more. Best to join it alone. For sure. So what you doing the rest of the day, buddy? What's going on here? Uh, you want to go fishing today? I can teach you how to fish. A little bit, maybe? No? Not a fisherman, huh? Oh god, if we miss this one, I'm mad. Okay, good. S Sebastian almost on my bad side there. And? Bait? A chicken statue? Yes! Oh, I, want, I don't want to give it to Gunther. I don't want to give it to Gunther. I want to keep it forever. That is a that is a cool thing, actually. You know what's fun is if you go to a thrift store, you can always find a statue of a chicken. Is the weird thing. There's always chicken, like people that like chickens, as like decorations. There's always something you'd find there. Me, and my friends, back in our back in our youth, our, our misspent youth, would go to thrift stores and just find the weirdest chicken object you could find. And. Fire quartz. That's something we need. I think that might be something we need for the quest also. Quick, let's take a look. Uh, where would it be? Vault, bulletin board? No, maybe bulletin board. Chefs. Not feel the research. Not enchanter either. No. He wants maple syrup as well? Oh, he wants the fiddle fur too. He wants a lot of stuff. All right, well, that's good to know. The pantry. Uh, crafts room, here we go. Forging, maybe? No. I thought there was a gem thing to turn in. Blacksmith, geologist. Yes, there it is. So that gets us one step closer. The last step we need is Quartz? Regular quartz? Really? Alright, Geologist Bundle's done, man. Sebastian, you'll never believe what happened. You won't believe it, buddy. We just found- we just found a fire quartz. I'm so glad you're here to experience it. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. The lightning seaweed. I thought the, uh, the lightning- the, my god, that freaks me out every single time. I think it's the hit, but it's not. Oh, it's already 310. Okay, we need to get a quartz so we can finish up this bundle today. Alright, that's enough. We're not finally catching any sardines. Willie, sorry, the dream of fishing is dead. Uh, it's 160 gold anyways. The only reason we're doing it is to impress Willie, and he's not going to be that impressed with it anyways. Because he knows we're not the problem. He wants to keep the spirit of fishing alive. We're not the problem here. We, we know it, man. We know the beauty of fishing. It's the rest of those. Those nobodies out there who don't fish with you. That's that's the real problem. Like Sebastian gets it though. I can tell he gets it. Like him and I are in the same way. Like we feel the same way about the solitariness of the ocean. Uh, man, we just have so much to talk about about the ocean when we're together like that. Anyways, let's get to the mines quick here. We don't have a lot of time left. We have enough time to find like one quartz and like 100 stone, right? All right, 100 stone is pushing it. But one quartz, not a problem. And uh, then we can turn that in tomorrow. And then also unlock a new qu new more quest after that probably and then we also need copper that's the big thing too so i'm gonna go down to like level five i think only uh not too deep um yeah 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 okay what can we turn in here let's let's leave this here 
let's let's leave that here too. Let's leave the fish here actually, because the fish will keep till tomorrow. Just in case we get really lucky down there. We got a couple of pieces of food for us here. That's that's good enough. The bacon go on there. Order this. Okay. Yeah, we'll go down to level like 10. How about that? 10. Cool. I'm sure we'll find lots of copper here. Now we will have the fly enemies, which I don't like, but um Yeah, we'll have plenty of stuff to find here. Come back here, bug. Jeez. Alright, let's put this. I don't like the way this is set up right now, so let's switch these around here. Stuff I need and stuff I don't need, basically. Alright. Stuff I need to watch will go up there too. Like, you know. Uh I want to be able to watch the copper level and I want to be able to watch the geodes and that kind of thing. If we get lucky and find 100 stone while we're here, that would be amazing too. So we're definitely going to hit, I don't think we're going to hit the regular rocks, I think we're going to hit these rocks because I know they give us two usually. Um, so it's just better well spent as far as time goes. Then again, we need to hit all of them to find the path down. Well, the path down is not so much important as, as finding a... Uh, Good stuff though. What is this noise? Hello? Topaz. Nice. We've already given that away so we can sell it off here. Pretty lucrative day probably. Okay, now we need to find the exit. So let's start mining. Where did the exit? So I think that's what I'll do is I'll go through getting all this, the double stone things. And if we don't find the exit, then I'll come back through and get these. Just thinking like how to do this efficiently not mine every single stone. Uh, and we'll just mine the regular stones until we find the exit, just like that. And we'll just go deeper. I mean, I don't know if there's a reason to go deeper necessarily. We could, we could always just take the elevator back and come back down again. Uh, broken boxes. Like these ones here we want to break, because those are worth two usually. And also follow the tracks, so there's lots of coal at the end of those usually. Oh, that's nice. Don't have to mine anything we don't want to then. We should kill every single slime we need, because we have to get- Oh, that's nice. Uh, we have to get a hundred slimes for one of the quest lines. That's nice. That's even better. So, are we up to the amount of copper we need yet? Not quite yet. Oh, time to go. Alright, we're looking for one quartz. Still. Uh, we're not gonna stay on here super late. Like last time, last couple days, two days ago or so, we, we stayed on here way too long. Um, so we're gonna leave at 10 is when we're gonna stop. But we should have enough copper by then, I would imagine. And maybe we'll have leveled up our, 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 uh, our breaking. Oh, there's a porch down there, I saw it. Nice. Okay, so we got the quest line turned in for this. We can stop by and do that quick. Uh, if we leave here early enough. And how are we doing on copper? We have 14, which is enough for a couple bars, uh, three bars. We'll go deeper anyways. There we go, nice music. We'll just get all the copper we can, because the copper we can always transmute if we need to into iron. Uh, and stone, of course. We're up to 36. Not quite there yet. Oh, here we go. Time for battle. Somebody told me to block in the comments, and it does. Oh, dwarf scroll. Awesome. We don't have that one yet. Well, these guys are dying much faster now. So my goal, I think my plan is to block when there's more than one coming at me at once, I'll block and bounce them both away. I think that makes sense. Take the least amount of damage that way. Oh, missed it. Mistimed it. See, blocking takes a bit of timing anyway, so it's kind of like, why would I block when I could just attack if I had the timing down? Alright, it's 10-10. We should probably get going here soon, but we have all these slimes to kill. Alright, let's, let's get through this floor here, and then we'll head home. No slime there. Nothing there. Okay. 
We're almost halfway to our, our, our stone goal. That's a good thing. Oh, there's the exit. Okay, let, we can just head down one floor and then we'll get to the uh, elevator again. Let's make sure we don't miss anything here. Grab these, grab this. Wow, they keep coming. Ooh, we got Monster Slayer complete. I don't remember that quest line being open, but we did it. In any event, uh, we'll go talk to him. Uh, okay, let's find those stairs we found. And, oh, there's more stone here. Oh, we're gonna get wrapped up getting stone though, aren't we? See, that's why you don't want to keep going down, because it's gonna distract you. Uh, I do think for gathering copper though, the 5 to 10 to 15 uh, is probably the best way. Back to zero. Alright, let's grab our stuff out. Oh, it's already midnight? Jeez. Oh, we gotta, we gotta keep. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Leave this here. Leave this here. Leave this here. Uh, bug meat. Hmm. What can we leave here? Coal we take with us. These guys we take with us. This we take with us. The chicken, yes. Oh boy, uh... I guess we'll leave some of these fish here. Kinda wanna take this with us though. We'll leave the earth crystal here and take this with us. And the geode will take... Alright, so with 59 stone we might be able to clean up around the house and get all the rest that we need. Uh, it's probably too late in the day to stop by the community center, though. I don't want to run out of time again and make it super close. So we'll just head back home and drop this stuff off at the community center tomorrow. Sell off our fish for a ton of money today. Uh, because we had a lot. And get this chicken statue over to Gunther tomorrow as well. Take a look at our forecast, see if it's going to rain again. This would be amazing if it was. We could save up some time at least in the morning. Uh, today's morning was squandered just a little bit because we had to... Uh, Go see what the, goes going around with the fishing. Oh, wait, 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 no. We lost a tree. I wonder if that's a lightning strike or a windstorm or something like that. Uh, that could be. All right, well, we'll investigate the, the farm a little bit more tomorrow. And, uh, and see if anything else is damaged around here. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't stop at the community center. This is, that we wasted too much time. So sell these off, sell that off. Sell the earth crystal off. Keep the quartz. Keep that. Good. Uh, drop this stuff off in here. Oh, we're gonna sell this this off too. That, that and this stay here. Bug me, we make into. Um. We'll make the bug me into the bait, probably. Or sell it off, I don't even know. I uh, will hang on to it for now. The geode will keep. Uh. Copper will keep for sure. All right. So tomorrow we'll plant that tree, get the tree in the ground. And then, uh, yeah, it should be another fun day. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Stardew Valley. We'll be back tomorrow for another episode. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.